Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Gran Turismo time trial guide that I do every single week. In the background, we're at Interlagos, if you can't tell, and we're in an old-school Jaguar. Yes, we're in the Jaguar XJ13. We're on racing hard tyres. The goal difficulty I put around a medium slash hard. You're definitely going to need some patience with this car when you drive it. That means throttle patience and just patience as you're going around corners. Got less met around the 135.2. I do suspect the rank one time is going to get to around a 0.4 potentially. Maybe even a bit more. So I've put that at a 0.2 gold estimate. So I'll try and aim for that. If you do enjoy this video, as always, do give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get into this lap. Because I was the first person into those 32s. Right, so we're going to cross the start finish line. And what we're looking for here is between the 150 board and the 100 board. Now, this braking zone here is very varied depending on how well you do the last corner. So you're trying to break a slap bang in the middle of it, if I'm honest with you. It's very hard to nail exactly. But if, uh, if you're struggling, just break it at the 150 board. Have some patience, break it at 150 board, and then just come off the brakes and let the car roll a little bit. We drop second gear here, but you can stay in third there. And as you come through here, just be careful on throttle as you go through here. Slight lift is recommended. Now, you want to short shift to fourth gear now. If you stay in third gear, you're going to get loads of oversteer and the car understeers anyway as well. So you're going to oversteer into understeer into oversteer. Going to fourth gear, stops the oversteer. It will still understeer, but you should be fine. On the right side then, just after the 150 board, or you could use the 150 board to be honest, but I was using the tree there, okay? As the tree hits the edge of your screen, that is when you're going to hit the brakes in this car. Again, it's really early braking because it's very patient braking. We're braking in a straight line, we're sticking towards the outside, and then we come in. We're staying in third gear, we're clipping the curve, and then we start to accelerate. Now, you do have to be careful on exit there. There can be a chance of power oversteer. If you do, or if you're struggling, just go to fourth gear. Short shifts in this car are beneficial. Yes, it's slower, but it will stop that oversteer. And then towards this double right hander, then the 100 board on the left hand side, really good mark. You can see I've just started braking right before the 100 board here. Go to Chase Cam and you can see that right there. Now, I want you to stay in third gear for this corner. It's very easy to go to second gear and think that's the better gear, but third gear is absolutely fine. You clip the first curb, you just bounce in the car a little bit, and then you aim to accelerate when you touch the second curb down the right. It's a double apex corner. You hit the first and then the second. As you go straight here, there's some tyre marks on the left-hand side. We're braking at the first one, okay? So as we reach this first one here, we're about to go onto the brakes. Now, with this car, you want to go really tight on the inside line. Now, if you do this, you'll keep a nice tight line and be ready for the left. If you go out wide or too deep, you're going to have problems. So it's better to brake early for that right-hander. This left-hander, to start the curb on the left-hand side there is your brake marker. This is all about having a nice tight line. And halfway through this corner, you're actually going to be short shifting to third gear as well, just because you're going to be in a weird part of the power band. So you can see where the start of the curb is there that I'm talking about. And as we get to this point here, we short shift to third gear. Notice I wasn't really doing anything in the car until this point here where I've just said you need to accelerate where that green marker is there on the inside. So when you get to here, you should already be in third gear and you can start to accelerate. You won't get power oversteer. It will just go around the corner absolutely fine. Notice that no real dramas at all. Really easy way to do that corner. As you approach this corner, this corner is quite difficult, to be honest with you. So you're braking quite early. On the left-hand side, there's a brake in the tyre wall. I'd highly recommend you use that as a brake marker. And you're going to drop to second gear. Now, it's very easy to run out wide here. And I did it a few times, even on my pad lap, which I'll show you in a little bit. My pad lap, I ran out really wide. And it was very hard to get right. You have to be really sensitive on the brakes in this car. If you're 100% braking, you do have issues. On exit, I'm in second gear there. Do go to third if you struggle. Up to fourth gear mid-corner here to stop that understeer that I've talked about already. And the power oversteer. It just stops it a lot there. Do bounce the throttle if you need to. And on the right side there, on the catch fence, there's a cross there. There's one with a cross. You're braking just before that. So I'm about to start braking right about now, okay? And that's because, again, you need to be patient with this car. It will understeer. And it's because it's an old car. It doesn't have a lot of downfall. So we drop to second gear. We're going to go to third gear on exit to stop the power oversteer. And then we can accelerate out. If you do touch the curbs there, you are going to get a bit of oversteer, okay? It doesn't like weight transfer that much. So if the suspension starts going, the rear wheels will spin up and then you'll spin out. Just be careful of that. Even so, we're going to rev it to the limits here. Go towards the line. We're sticking on the inside here. And we're going to cross the line with that 32.9. The first one in the 32s, which I kind of like. Right, let's go backwards then. Let's start the pad lap here then. So I'm following my own ghost here. As we come into here, one thing I found with the pad, okay, is if you hold onto the brakes at 100%, this car really understeers. You do have to release the brakes earlier than normal. And doing all the same techniques there, remember, short shift to fourth gear through this left-hander and then continue on out. I'm in manual on the pad. I know people ask me to do automatic, but manual on the pad because I'm just showing you it's possible on a pad. Here we go. We're looking for that tree on the right side then. In towards the braking zone. Third gear again. We're going to see if we can clip the curb. We don't quite do it this time. On exit there. A little bit of power. Nothing major though. Very easily catchable on the pad. 
very easily catchable on a wheel as well. You could be more smooth on a wheel, of course. We'll give that 100 board on the left hand side. Hard on the brakes, doing the same thing here. Rolling the car through the corner, trying to be patient, let the car go, and then accelerate when we get to that second curb. First time out there, we're going to hit the brakes down towards second gear. We're going to cut it quite a lot on the pad here, actually, try and get a better line. But unfortunately, not the greatest of line through there. Short shift to third gear, look for that green there, then start to accelerate. I had to actually lift off a little bit on the pad. You do understeer a bit more on the pad. I will put that out there, so do be careful. I did struggle a lot on this corner on the pad. Notice that I'm on and off the brakes more than a nice control braking. And again, that's because I was struggling 100% braking and going a bit too deep. So if you need to do that on and off brakes on the pad, do give it a whirl. Look at that cross on the right hand side then, staying in third gear here, clipping the curb and then accelerate through the corner. Again, be careful on exit with that curb. I'm going to continue. Oh, there we go. You see, notice how it did just a little bit delayed, but it did cause that parallel steer. We're head towards the line then. On the pad, this was a 133.7, so well inside what I predict is going to be a gold time. So the pad can do gold here. You've just seen it right there. And what we will do now is we're going to jump to that chase camp for the final lap then. So on the chase camp, once again, between the 150 and the 100 board there, we're going to break. I did try to get to the 100 board, but you go a bit too deep, so you better be patient on the brakes there. Just brake a bit early and roll the car through. You should still be fine. Continuing on through here then, we're going to go up to fourth gear and start to accelerate. Do come off the throttle a little bit if you are struggling in this car. Remember, 100% throttle, you're going to understeer a little bit. Same on the brakes, 100% braking. The second you release that, allow the tyres to do their own thing, They then the car will then come more to you and understeer it less. So just keep that in mind as you go through here. Notice there, the throttle is staying at around 80% there. And then when I'm fine, I then go to 100% as we continue on up here then. So we'll give that 100 board on the left-hand side, hard on the brakes, and we release the brakes, let the car turn in, let the car do its thing here. We're then going to click the second part then and continue on through in towards the braking zone then. As we go into here, we're using all the curb on the inside to get a good line then for this left. Start the curb there as we go to third gear. Short shift, accelerate out when we get to that green part then. We're going to head up here, brake in the tyre wall on the left hand side. Hard on the brake, second gear. You want to use all the curb on the inside, try and get round. You're going to get some power obviously on exits in second gear. So if you need to go to third, go to third. I'm going to short shift to fourth gear now to stop any more power obviously through this corner and we accelerate towards the final part. Look at that cross on the right hand side. There we go. A bit hard to see on Chase coming from on this. Um, we're in third gear on exit then as we continue on out of here and head towards the start finish line so key things again as i say you need to be patient with this car so brake let the car roll if you need to let it roll but that is going to be it for this video then folks as you see there i head towards the line so this one an interesting one i'll say patience is a virtue here you're gonna have to really hold the brakes where you need to hold the brakes delay throttle where you need to delay throttle and just try and control that oversteer with some short shifts but folks, as I say, that is going to be it for me. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. And as always, if you did, give it a like and do subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest content. Now, in terms of videos that you can continue watching on the channel, the previous week's time trial lap guide is right there or an alternative one on the right hand side. Two companies that help me out there, uh, GT Amiga, you can use my code Tijani, you get a discount and it's a kickback to me as well. The final set one is just a kickback at the moment, I believe, but some discounts do happen. That's it for me. Thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very, very, very soon.